Well, hello, everyone. My name is uh, Mike Haney. I'm the Vice Chancellor uh, for Veteran and Military Affairs here at Syracuse University. Um, and I'd like to welcome you all on behalf of the university. Particularly want to both welcome and thank at the same time um, Secretary McHugh for coming up to Syracuse, spending a little time with us to talk about the challenges that, that the Army's uh, facing and the opportunities related to um, sort of tomorrow's Army and also spending some time uh, learning about uh, Syracuse University's commitment to um, serving and empowering military connected students veterans and their families, the work of the Institute for Veterans and Military Families. We had a wonderful discussion this morning. Um, Secretary got the opportunity to spend the morning with some of the students in our Defense Comptroller program at the Whitman School of Management and then um, a nice walk across campus to the Institute for Veterans and Military Families where we spent some time talking through the work of the Institute um, related to some programs that we both run for the Department of Defense and also our uh, partnership with the private sector related to serving veterans and their families. Uh, Secretary also had the opportunity to spend some time with uh, SU's Chancellor Kent Severud um, talking through the, the Chancellor's commitment to making Syracuse University the national example in higher education for how we serve and connect with veterans and military connected students. Uh, uh, it was a wonderful discussion. We uh, both learned a lot, um, and I think it opens the door for the continuation of a wonderful partnership. So it's been both enlightening and wonderful to get more detail as to what is happening on the, this campus. Uh, the fact that Syracuse University is a staunch supporter of men and women in the military and their families of veterans uh, is hardly news. It's been something this university has been dedicated to since uh, certainly just after World War II. Chancellor Tolley's, uh, at the time, very bold, very clear dedication to becoming a premier campus and service to, at that time, the returning greatest generation, uh, has indeed continued. Uh, and it is uh, advanced today as it was under Chancellor Tolley by uh, Chancellor Severud. Only Kent Severud does it without the cane. Uh, the incident uh, is in your history books. You can look it up about his 1960, I believe, 64 excursion against some demonstrators. But what did surprise me uh, was not so much the de dedication on this campus. Uh, that's been a source of constant constant uh, pleasure for us, but the innovative ways in which they are already working and are continuously uh, attempting uh, to uh, advance in, in new and different ways. And uh, you look at the Boots to Business program, uh, uh, all the other initiatives that they have brought about uh, as unique in the nation. and. Uh, as has been the case here for so many years, Syracuse University, again, leads the way. And uh, that's just a, a shining example and a, and a terrific path by which uh, other institutions, uh, if they're so inclined, can, can really contribute. 